because Womel celebrated 25 powerful women to watch in March of 2021, I was given the opportunity to do one-on-one -on -one conversations with these women. And I'm going to bring you some backstories, behind the scenes information from the panelists of panel number two. I'm talking about Nayala, Amaru, Aruna, Krishnan, Trina, Ramsey, Tracy, L. James, Monica, Lenny, and Maggie Georgiopoulos. Behind the scenes conversations that I had with these women. And then we led up to panel number two. Hang on, I'm bringing all of that to you in a moment. Welcome to Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation. This podcast was created for the boomer woman leaving corporate. And now you're looking to reinvent yourself, become an author, an entrepreneur, a podcaster. Well, each episode will leave you with clarity. You will come away with the yes, I can and yes, I will reinvent myself mindset. So come on, let's do this. I'm your host, Margo Levette. Hello, everyone. Margo Levette back again. Another episode here. Her business, her voice, her conversation. Well, as I told you in the teaser, I'm sitting down because I have some insider backstory information about the panelists on panel number two. You'll remember that Womel honored 25 women to, and they're powerful women to watch the month of March 2021. But I can take you inside a little bit deeper into the one-on-one -on -one conversations that I had with these women. And I want to take a moment to make sure that I highlight some of the conversation that we had. And then, of course, I'll have links in the show notes so that you can definitely go and listen to that one-on-one -on -one conversation. And that should lead you over to the total panel discussion, panel number two. Let me tell you something about the first woman that was on the panel. It's uh, Nayela Amaru. Nayela Amaru is a well sought out political commentator and she, her footprint goes very deep when it deals with what's going on in politics. She is a army veteran. She, oh my goodness, she sharpened my understanding and gave me new hope concerning why we should vote why the movement in politics seems to be so slow. Why are we still talking about things that came up 20 years ago? What kind of movement can we chart? And how is it that she's been in politics for over 10 years and she still is passionate and in love with it and working in that arena with passion and hope? the way that she is and, and does. And you have to listen to our conversation because her responses did renew my hope in politics and, and our leaders. Um, it was really quite an insightful, insightful conversation. She talked about grassroots and the grassroots movement, how powerful all of that is. Now, Yella is an educated woman and she is, I, I don't know if we're ever going to see her run for president. Uh, you know, she's, she's just there. She walked, worked with, uh, Congressman Lewis and John Lewis. And, uh, what can I say? I'm, our conversation was just rich and full. And the insight that she brought to panel number two was just icing on the cake. I, it was a sheer delight to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Nayala Amaru. And then I also had a conversation with Aruna Krishnan. Aruna Krishnan is also part of panel number two. She is one that can tell you what's going on with your business. Where are the leaks? She is a manager type of, a project manager type of person, but we didn't talk about any of that. We talked about her book series, the 10 years that went into giving, being able to give in-person information about in emotional intelligence, EQ. So this 
Amazon best-selling author on all three books. She we sat down and we talked about how emotional maturity, emotional intelligence, how that makes or breaks your relationships. How is it that she even became involved with this? You know, we hear about EQ, but how many people are actually sitting down and writing books about it and putting taking the spin from what they learned as they had to dig deep into this subject matter and what's the outcome? Now she's teaching others by way of a three part series. Aruna Krishna. She is a podcaster also. I was also a guest on her podcast and it was, she's an emerging force. She's a, a slow burn of a lady that is a, she has a lot to say. And when the time is right, I know that we're going to hear even more from her. A mother that is devoted a mother that is leaving legacy for her children. Aruna Krishnan, multifaceted, multi-layered woman. And she really brought this thing of emotional intelligence to the forefront for me. So once again, Nayela taught me. Aruna taught me. And this was before we even got to the panel discussion. So let me talk about Trina Ramsey. Trina Ramsey has been writing articles for Wom Lead magazine for years. Before it was Wom Lead, she's been a part of the Wom Mail organization for the longest. I've been reading her articles inspired by her articles. She is a true leader. She is an advocate for women 40 and over. Oh my goodness, is she. Our conversation was so very rich. And it was warm because it was comes from a feeling as though we've known each other forever. And we share the same space, caring for women 40 and over, giving you the rah-rah, you can do this, you can reinvent yourself, move yourself along, do what you've dreamed to do. It doesn't stop at 40 on. I... Trina Ramsey has is big in the nonprofit world. And what I came to understand is that this lady has a deep heart for helping others. And she's very knowledgeable of the nonprofit space. Let me take you on to Tracy L. James, a real spitfire of a woman. And she's a she's a woman that coaches a strategy coach that comes from being a trained dancer. That alone caught my ear, caught my eye. And her model is that there are no excuses. There are only solutions. And she talked about how when you are a trained dancer and you are given something to perform, you practice it. And whatever way you have to come about learning that piece, you do it. There are no excuses. You learn it, you perform it, you perform it at 110%. And she brings that into her coaching arena. And I've taken that on. No excuses. It's easy for us to whine and, and wait for somebody else to come and show us and do it. When you have a coach that takes no excuses, that takes no hostages, that you are the man, you are the woman, then you are definitely going to move the needle and move towards progress. Tracy is also a published author. So you definitely want to deep dive into Nyela Amaru, our conversation, Aruna Krishnan, our conversation one-on-one, Trina Ramsey, Tracy L. James, These ladies, we had conversations that shaped my world before we got to panel, the panel discussion. I want to move on to Monica Glennie. Monica Glennie and I are from the same hometown, a small manufacturing city in the Midwest. And Monica comes from the financial tech industry. She is a CPA, works with some distinguished firms, 
but her heart was always to help women build out their business. And in this city that we come from, there wasn't much opportunity for her to take her knowledge, the best of what she had to offer women and help them build their small businesses the way she envisioned. So what she decided to do was stay in the vein of her major, of of what her strong suit is. Her dad worked at a organization, I forget the name of the company, and it was the plan for Monica and her dad to buy this business eventually, uh, had been in talks with the owner, and it was pretty much a done deal. What happened was that the owner was a workaholic and he went to work one day and died right there of a massive heart attack. Monica was pregnant with another child and the plans to buy the business in the future were now, we have this opportunity to buy the business right now, keeping in, in, in line of her, of her expertise. So she had the youngster and they decided that they buy the business and Monica kept that business for five years. To grow closer to her daughter, she decided that she would investigate Mary Kay, the Mary Kay Ash community, which is global, which is huge. And Monica found her voice there. And you're talking about an opportunity to reinvent yourself. Monica Glennie found her voice and the opportunity to use the 30 plus years of executive information and entrepreneurship that's stored inside of her. She found a place where she could utilize all of that, all of that information to the best of her ability. She's become a color specialist, a skin care specialist also moving and grooving with Mary Kay Cosmetics as a consultant. And when the pandemic hit and knees were not able to meet under the table, they made a quick pivot and captured how to, how to enhance a woman and strengthen a woman, not only as in their business, but in their, in their appearance. And they were able to do that over virtual. So a powerhouse woman that reinvented herself. And our conversation I learned right away is that if you're in a, in a small city or you're someplace that is not conducive to your vision, to your strengths, then it's probably time to look around and figure out where what's next. What's next? How can I utilize my strong suit and take that into another arena and dominate? How do I do that? Monica Glenny, that was a wonderful conversation that we had. And then we round everything out. Panel number two rounds everything out with Maggie Georgiopoulos. Maggie is a woman who is a globe trotter. Uh, the first time I spoke with Maggie, I believe she lived in Canada, but when we had our conversation, come to find out she's over in Vietnam. Her subject matter is mental health. She comes from the C-suite, so she knows how to move about the C-suite arena and still manage mental health. It's a subject that we have to keep on the front, front burner and you're always going to do that when you have time spent with Maggie Georgiopoulos. So she is a glimmer of light for women in the C-suite who are manic depressive or schizophrenic. There are things that you can do so that you can control the, the situation, so that you can control your condition. You can still inhabit and be your best at the C suite, in the C suite, you can stay in corporate and and still be very effective. But we have to have conversations with those powers at B about mental health and employees, employment. How does that look? How do we shape that? How do we make in a place of employment inclusive? A place of employment, a a healthy place. 
so that we are all healthy with our mental health. And we all, as Maggie says, we all have mental health. So Maggie is a Maggie is a contributing writer for Womel also and has been for some time as, oh, I forgot to tell you, Tracy L. James is also a contributing author to Womel and she has been for some time also. Maggie Georgiopoulos was a, it was a pleasure to speak with her. So now you have it. All of the women that I had a conversation with before we led up to panel number two and panel number two, their discussion was how to interact with, how to help women in 2021. Those uh, 2 million women that were, that left the workforce since the pandemic hit. How do we support them? How do we help them? Nayala Amaru, Aruna, Krishnan, Trina, Ramsey, Tracy L. James, Monica Glenny, Maggie Georgiopoulos. I've given you some backstory about these women. Be sure to go to the show notes and the the link is there so that you can listen to the one-on-one and the link is there so that you can listen in to the panel discussion led by myself, hosted by Womel. Take time, binge listen. This is information that you are going to need if you are a woman in leadership looking to move for it. Before I let you go, I want you to know the only reason why I too am considered one of the 25 powerful women to watch. The only reason why I had the opportunity to sit with these powerful, knowledgeable women who are making big dents in life is because I am a podcaster. I reinvented myself to become a podcaster. And if you have a vision, you have a voice, you have a mission. It doesn't matter that you don't know how to podcast. I had to reinvent to learn how to podcast it, podcast even after I had been doing it for some time. Sometimes you buy the mic and it's up in the closet. Sometimes you learn and it's just not the proper timing. But if you are inclined to want to learn podcasting, you want to build out your podcast, let's have a conversation, all right? podcastacademyonline.com. I just graduated two people and it is with great joy that I am still able to birth, develop, and deploy podcasters. That's what the Academy is all about. So my direct phone number is there in the show notes. The link to the Academy is there. So if this is something that you want to do, fulfill a longing and yearning, it is a a mission for you, then let's have that conversation. There's no reason why you have to keep kicking the tires and talking to anybody and everybody, everyone about it. Let's do it. Get into the Academy and let's launch, build and launch your podcast. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. I want to thank you for listening to her business, her voice, her conversation. A couple of things that I want you to do right now, go to my website, pick up a copy of her business, her voice, her reinvention, how I went from game show hopping to international show host, author, and speaker in one year. Number two, please freely listen to each and every episode, share them out with your family, friends, the men in your lives. And then number three, get in contact with me, one of the experts that have been on the show because I want to make sure that you reinvent yourself. I'll be back next week with a brand new episode here on Her Business, Her Voice, Her Conversation. Her Conversation.